well, welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures on this rather blustery, bleak Saturday afternoon, end of July. Just been doing a, just done the first cast and everything. Might have a rattle going on the light rod. But anyway, let's have a look. That is absolutely pissing down and it's coming this way so uh, it'll only be a short little footage to start with. That does look a bit bleak over there, doesn't it? But hey ho, I'm here, that's the main thing. I don't think I'm gonna be able to repeat last week's. Oh, there we go. Another, there we go, look at that. I mean, that's a bream. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, he's on there. Uh, I don't think I can repeat last week's, as I say, I wasn't fishing for the bass, but uh, I was happy with the result, to be fair. £10, £7, happy days. Just couldn't get this in before that rain, it's literally going to be here in a few seconds. Get the worms in, come on, them getting wet. Get this back down. There we go, well, it's got to be a bream. Oh, it's the bass. <laughs> God, I'm starting it again, aren't I? Oh well, I ain't blanked. Not that I want a bass, but... Well, that size anyway. Beautiful. Let's get this back down before that rain comes through. Oh shit, it's almost here. Right, you'll have to excuse me. Yeah, I can feel it now. Right, fingers crossed, I'll keep you chaps informed. Bye bye now. Here comes the score, actually. That score. Woo! Well, welcome back. It's still black over there, but at the moment, it has missed me, so. Uh, Thank God for that. This both rods are bouncing around. I've got the usual whole squid on one. Try for a bass. I'm not saying I'm going to, you know. Um, but target species, as usual, is the sole. And obviously, I uh, won't get there until a little bit later. So let's. Uh, I know this one's been bouncing away. I don't know if there's anything on it. Yes, there is. Now, is this a bream, or dare I say, is it a bass? I don't know. That has been bouncing away. Well, hopefully this week uh, the weed won't be quite as bad as what it was last week. It wasn't horrendous last week, but you know what it's like. You get you get weed. It's just a pain, regardless how much you get. So, oh, this is uh, this is rattling away. What we got? A bit of weed. We knew that was weed. There it goes. What we got underneath it though? Ha! <laughs> First of the bream. First of the bream. I didn't think it would be long before they showed up. Quite a small one. Get this weed off. Bloody stuff. There we go. First of the bream this evening. Excuse me, one of the one of a few I expect, but happy days. I'll get this off, get it back in, and uh, have a check at the squid one, get some fresh bait out, and uh, see what comes of it. They are giving the, the wind dropping later on this evening, not until eight o'clock ish, so uh, we'll have to see what happens. But that certainly looked black over there. Still, can't complain, little bream. Happy days. Well, that didn't take long on the other rod. I've just uh, recast this one. But to be fair, that was only down there minutes and it was screaming off, so... I don't know what we've got here. It's on. Something there, I think. Oh yeah, that's something. Rattling away. Oh, 
what is it? There it goes. Might be a double shot, I don't know. We'll see. There you go, double shot of black bream. Happy days. Better one at the bottom there. There we go. Yeah. That had been down there literally five minutes. Who says there's no black bream in Southampton water? There's plenty. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Get the bigger of the two off. Yeah, nice fish. Nicely hooked. Cool. No wonder it's going mental. Now I'm just hoping these ain't going to be a pain. Don't get me wrong, lovely fish, good fight on the right gear and I've got the right gear for them, but yeah, a pain. Right, let's try again. It's good to see the black bream, I suppose, you know, can't knock it in that respect. Like everything, everything all gets over, overfished and everything, so it's good to see them. That's how many users. Small baits, literally. Nothing fancy, just two hook trays. Be fiddly with a size four. But been doing it years, you know what you're doing. There we go. Yeah, simple tactics as usual. Go, just simple cast fishing nigh on just into 50 foot of water here comes that rain let's get them in oh, wet worms wind that slack up like I always say set your drag cool right let's get in well, oh god, look at that lot. Not good. Here we go. Something's on it. Smooth and or a bass. There we go. Oy, there he goes. <laughs> He's taking line. Come on. Literally just winding that other one in. That's got a bream or two on. I don't know what this is. Is it a bass or is it a schmunter? Could be a bass way of shaking his head. Don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Set that drag right. Well, that was absolutely screaming when I was winding that other rod in. So let's just go. So it's a big silver. And it just doesn't seem to be going here, there, and everywhere. Doesn't matter like it is, which I don't want. That's smooth now. Typical. Tiny smooth now. There we go. Don't want you fish. Go away. Happy days. Right, let's get it. Get it back in. Get it back out. Well, I thought I'd give you an update. Um, yeah, bream have been an absolute nuisance. I've had 13 bream so far. Uh, no real monsters, probably biggest, not quite a pound. Uh, that one smooth hand, a smaller smooth hand, and the one bass so far. So, like I say, Every weekend's different, every tide's different, so you can't bank on your laurel, so to speak. But it is what it is. But we are coming to the sole time now. The bream have eased off a little bit now. So I haven't had a bite for probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So that's quite a good sign. I'm happy with that. 
uh, a bit of weed with that horrible red shite going through. Not enough to worry about. You know, anything's a pain in it when it comes to weed. So yeah, I just thought I'd uh, give you an update. Luckily, I haven't had a real heavy squall come through with the rain. It's been half decent, so yeah, not too bad. Still blowing. It did ease a little while ago, but uh, it's just coming through with the squall sort of thing, which is to be expected. Can't complain. I'm out here fishing. That's the main thing. That's what it's all about. Just need the sole now, and then it's pressures off. Let's hope there's one or two here. As I say, it was a red letter day last uh, last weekend, so I wasn't expecting it to be the same. Still got a nice squid bait out, still trying, but as I say earlier, the, the black bream was, there must be so many down there, they were just a whole squid within sort of like 10, 15 minutes, completely bare rocks. And on size 3 -0 wide gapes, uh, I know I had one last weekend on, a, <laughs> on the 3 -0, but they're just stripping it today. So it could be worse, it could be absolutely pissing down with rain. Then I wouldn't be enjoying it, but I'm enjoying it. That's the main thing, that's what fishing's all about. Enjoying it. You know, if you're happy to come out here and catch a load of different species, happy days. I like to target fish. Sometimes it takes, you know, quite a bit of time to get through all the, the species that you don't really want to uh, to get the target. Not quite so many boats out and about now, so that's good. looks a little bit better up there so I'm just hoping uh, that old shower will keep away but they're not giving it from about 8 o'clock I suppose it's, you know, it's clearing up a little bit so fingers crossed it does do that water's a lot clearer this weekend I suppose smaller tide you ain't got the run there stirring the bottom up but the water's very clear at the moment Come on, Sol. What's the time now? Seven o'clock. Well, it's all like between now and nine o'clock sort of thing. That's when I seem to be getting them. I might actually try somewhere else uh, when it just gets on to dark. For some reason, the soul don't seem to come through here or don't appear to be here in darkness. It just seems to be that. Just on that dusk bit. So I'm hoping, uh, you know, within the next couple of hours, I might see one. Oh well, I shall, uh, I shall keep you informed. Fingers crossed, uh, something will come through in a minute. Happy days. having a few little taps on this one as it's getting to that time I thought well I don't know what it is it feels like a bream or a small bass or even a small smooth hand but yeah it's not a soul just hoping uh, one comes through I'm just hoping that weed doesn't there's the leader what we got another bream 14 bream. Bloody things. There we go. 
good to see but not what I want Ty's just starting to pick up now so I'm hoping uh, any time I'll have a fresh bait check and uh, get it back down well this one was going well this might be a ray And really real slow pull just managing to take that this might be a ray let's hope it is I'll nice, see a ray here oh there, there it goes okay Steve Sorting out, you can't even tell what's on there. Oh, bloody things. Doing the death roll, the change. Bear with. I thought he'd come off then. T bar. I can get you off. using the uptiders you know you can get it away from the boat nicely I know it's an uptide rod and I'm casting down tide but I don't want to be uptide there at the moment if the tide picks up last week I could have uptied it to be fair but it's only a leap tide today so let's say always make sure you your drag's well set and then uh Fingers crossed. Oh, that's another species today, I suppose. So, 14, 14 bream, three ounce, and one strap hill. Come on, soul, where are you? Well, I just had a stonking run on that one. That one absolutely hooped over, and it's there. Here we go, here we go, what's this? Oh, no, swim with me, smooth hound. That was a bit fast, that was. Oh, so, whoa! Here we go. Whoa, come on. Whoa. Bring it on. I'll be surprised if it's not a smooth down. But that really did. That absolutely screamed. The rod was bent right over. 
what we got smut I'm getting closer now staying deep trying to run up tide a little bit there we go now it's getting heavy here we go here's the leader boys what we got it's got to be a smunter yeah look at that that's a nice one well i'll say a nice one it's a smooth round a bit better than those little tadpole ones size four rook size four rook and 15 pound trace there we go well get wet now Come on, there we go. Come on, let's run around this time. Come on, let's open it up. There we go. Go on then. Oof, gone. Oh well. Half decent fight then on the little lighter. Uh, like for Nors, happy days. Well, this could give them little tiny nibbles. There's a load of weed on it. Real tiny little bites. Definitely a lot of weed on it. Just that red stuff's being a pain now. See, it's going to be a pain this evening. I don't know what it is. If anything, but they was definitely giving some nibbles. There's a bloody great big mound of bees. And pressure off. Pressure off. Here we go. Happy days. First hole of the evening. Tons of weed, but they're there. Not the biggest in the world. But it's a soul. Very, very happy now. Now I can relax. <laughs> Just this horrible weed. And it stinks as well. No, very happy now. Happy days. There we go. Nice little soul. May there be more. sooner I landed that one now this one's going over we ain't got a few something on it obviously it's gonna be a bit of weed but something's there yeah so that was number 15 blackberry something on it hang in there don't feel like a black green, don't feel quite erratic enough. Maybe smooth out, maybe. There's a leader. <sighs> That's, oh, I've got a silver eel and a smooth down. <laughs> That's funny. Happy days. Another species today. That was a screaming run. There it is. There it is. Go on then. Bass. Smooth out. Black bream. Could be anything. <laughs> Silver eel, even. Definitely on there. That weed seems to have eased off, or I'm getting more fish bites now than when uh, than before, because I was leaving it a longer time. But there we go, bass. 
Oh no, it's a nice black bream. That's that's the best one of the. Oh yeah, it's a better one. Completely stripped on the other one there. Beautiful black bream. Nice looks as well. Go on then. Go on. Happy days. Right, let's get back down there. Well, I have to say, I'm struggling tonight. I just can't really seem to get through all those... Uh, I've got some in on here, but... I can't seem to get through all these horrible fish. No. Another bass. But, yeah, really struggling to get through the bass. Uh, bream. Even they've stayed on later than normal. But, yeah, really struggling tonight. Plenty of fish, don't get me wrong, but... Just not what I'm after. But there's definitely a lot more fit. Normally it quietens down sort of like around eight o'clock-ish and you pretty much know, you know, you have got a chance then, but I'm just, you know, I'm basically getting, getting the bites straight away. Um, it's not as though I'm putting maximum effort in and stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Or they're just not here tonight. You know, so. It is what it is. I can't do anything about it. Uh, I did think about moving, but to be fair, I'll sit it out now. I know you do get the odd big one through here, and that, to be fair, I'd rather have a chance of a better fish than... Maybe just a few fish, but no. Oh well, it's at that time when you know what I mean. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen now. I've had the one, so bring it on. Well, I don't know what this is. Don't think it's a soul. It is staying deep, admittedly. Very. It was given a lot of erratic bites, so I'm reckoning probably a, a smooth hound or something. It's staying deep. I mean, if it's a sole, it's a big fish, but it ain't a sole, I don't think. Still staying deep, fuck me. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a nice shot. Oh, double shot. No way. Yeah, double shot. Nice one on the thing there. Hope you're getting it all. Happy days, double shot. That's three sole tonight. That's good, I'm happy with that now. Pressure definitely off. Two sole. Happy days. Yeah, very nice. Can't complain of that. Double shot, happy days, bring it on. Well. Well happy with that double shot. I know this one's been bouncing around, but I'm not gonna say what this is. It's feeling heavy, staying deep. Is it a, is it another one? I reckon might be a double something on here. Is it staying deep. Not as deep as that one. There's the lead now. Did you? Oh yeah, another soul. Soul and a bass. That's number four. Happy days. Well, they're on the munch tonight and into the darkness, whereas they normally not. So that's good. Pleased with that. Very pleased at the moment. Here we go, go on. Whee! That's four soul. Another stupid bass, but hey ho. <laughs> no, I have to say I'm happy now. I was getting a little bit, not despondent, but you think, oh, is it going to happen? And out the flick of the switch, it happens. So, yeah, really happy now, so that's good. Right, Let's see if there's any more there. 
Well, this was giving some weird bites. It is staying deep, but I don't think it is. But then I've been saying that every time. Perhaps this is it. This is staying very, very deep. Oh, bass. Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Probably the better one I've had tonight. Yeah, nice little bass. Happy days. Well, little rattles on this one. So this one could be, to be fair, unless it's... Mm, or is it? Or is it not? <laughs> I thought it was. It was just giving rattles. Here we go. It's a better one. Number five. Number five. Beautiful. No, I'm pleased with that now. Go on. There he goes. Yeah, so five now. Um, say things are looking up getting through some worm now so that's good Let's say nothing complicated, just keep it simple. And you'll get fish. Don't overcomplicate things. Tide's easing right up now. A little flick down tide. Happy days, come on fish, let's have some more. Well, this was giving some real strange bites then. Oh, there we go. See that? Don't think it's sold, but... Let's see what we got. Could be, you know. I do flap like that. Now it's getting heavier. I reckon this could be number six. Yeah, definitely number six. Is it? It is, it could be a half decent one. Oh yeah. That's a better one boys. That's a better one. I thought that was a <coughs> half decent uh sort of like a rattle on that. Yeah, that's approaching. That's gotta be a pound and three quarters all day long. That's quite thick as well. Oh yeah, beautiful. What a beautiful soul. Yeah. Beautiful fish, aren't they? And dare I say, that is number six. Go on. Bound and three quarter, go straight back. As I say, I'm not too worried about them. Well, I think what I'll do is, uh, Get another hook on there because that snapped and uh, give it about another hour, I reckon. Happy days. Well, welcome back. Uh, that's me done now. Just washed the boat down all nice and clean. 
radar's up and running. Put the autopilot on in a minute. But uh, yeah, that's me done. Can't complain though. 16 bream, seven smooth downs, six sole, one conga, one field reel, and at least probably well over half a dozen small bass, maybe two pounds a biggest. So I certainly can't complain this evening. It's been good. Uh, it's been hectic. Uh, I probably won't go quite as early next time, but. Uh, but there won't be no video next week as uh, I'm back on the Isle of Wight for the night on Saturday night. So uh, you'll have to wait two weeks. Sorry about that. But no, good evening. I can't complain. Right. Let's, uh, let's get going. Hope you enjoyed it. Great if you could like and subscribe, that would be brilliant. Till next time. Bye bye now.